a French envoy had been dispatched in 1687 to Siam, Thailand, which brought back to Paris several artifacts and curiosities from the kingdom, including an obscure manuscript relating to the astronomical traditions of that country. That enigmatic manuscript, which may well have ended up lying unnoticed in some dusty corner of the Royal French archives, somehow passed into the hands of Cassini. Cassini is one of the most notable astronomers in the history of astronomy. In his honor, about two decades ago, a spacecraft named Cassini Orbiter was dispatched to Saturn by NASA to study the planet, which recently completed its mission. On the flip side, Cassini is also known for his entanglements with Isaac Newton on various issues, in all of which Newton ultimately prevailed. Cassini had discovered a mysterious manuscript written in a strange non-European language. He was astonished and curious to discover the contents. Though the manuscript was only a small fragment of its parent volume at Siam, it contained enough material to provide tantalizing hints of the width and depth of the text that it contained. There were, however, some difficulties on the way for Cassini, who was working with a French translation of the manuscript. One, the text of the manuscript was rather terse with no explanations provided. Second, some vital data appeared to be missing. Third, some of the concepts and formulations in the manuscript were entirely new to him. Fourth, several calculations were presented in an obfuscating manner to obscure and conceal the nature of the operations behind them. Fifth, the French translator had kept the original linguistic technical terms as they were without translating them into French or providing the meaning of these terms. This became famous as the Siamese's mysterious manuscript. Till that time, it was thought that of all the ancient peoples, only the Greeks had cultivated astronomy as a science. Not only were the data and methods of the Siamese manuscript superior to the Greek, they even rivaled the modern ones. Some of Cassini's interesting observations of the manuscript of Siamese are as follows. 1. The manuscript had no tables used. He stated, these rules are extraordinary. They make no use of tables, but only of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of certain numbers of which we do not presently comprehend the basis of, nor to what these numbers refer. 2. It had deliberately concealed data. Cassini determined that the seemingly innocuous numbers used in the manuscript were based on astronomical data of various types. He writes, under these numbers, are concealed various periods of solar years, lunar months and other revolutions and the relationship of one with the other. Under these numbers are likewise concealed several sorts of epochs, which are not clearly stated as such, like the civil epoch, the epoch of lunar months, that of the equinoxes, apogee and the solar cycle. Three there were concealed mathematical operations. He found that in several operations in the manuscript, the calculations were deliberately obfuscated, perhaps to conceal their actual purpose. The manuscript had a great accuracy of data. The length of the mean lunar month given in the manuscript was found to be astoundingly accurate. Its value of 29 days, 12 hours, 44 minutes and 2.3 seconds differed from the most accurate estimate in Cassini's time of 29 days, 12 hours, 44 minutes and 3.1 seconds by only a fraction of a second. Similarly, the moon's mean absidal revolution period was given as 3,232 days compared to 3,233 days in the modern times. Also, the 19-year cycle called the Metonic Cycle in the West was known to the people who had written that manuscript with an accuracy within 3 minutes of his modern value, while the Western system was off by 1.5 hours. Cassini also found that the people who had written this manuscript based their astronomical calculations almost exclusively on the lunar day, unlike the Western systems. There was a use of two zodiacs out of which one had 12 constellations while the remaining was based on 27 zodiacs. In summary, Cassini in his brief memoir is all praised for the Indian astronomical system as found in the Siamese manuscript. These rules are ingenious and once understood clearly and purged of 
needless superficialities they should prove useful to us in europe since they are easy to apply without the need of books or tables thus it appears that the calendar of these has not run into the error which our old calendar had fallen into where the new moons were regulated by the cycle of the golden number so who were these people who had written this mysterious and ingenious manuscript unbeknownst to cassini the mysterious siamese manuscript that he had found was actually an indian astronomical text and to its mystery what he had found was simply a karana work and not even a full fledged siddhanta a siddhanta is a full treatise which starts with the fundamentals and undertakes a complete and rigorous theoretical treatment of all topics on the subject it does not provide examples practical shortcuts and other such conveniences it is written with the mathematician and theoretical astronomer in mind a karana text lies at the other end of the spectrum it is composed for the benefit of the village astrologer one whose needs are completely practical and who is not very concerned with the background of his calculations or with the theoretical aspects of the model it usually has very simple and concise instructions cryptic formulae shortcuts and examples with little or no explanation provided a tantra text falls in between these two types he praises the indian calendric system which he marvels had not run into any serious problems since its inception and continues to be sufficiently accurate even after a thousand years whereas the western system had run into difficulties over time this was the marvel of indian astronomy which was appreciated by a man who was later awarded the title of the first astronomer of europe if you liked our research then follow our page satyalok on instagram and help us spread the greatness of ancient indian astronomy to as many people as we can stay tuned stay educated and last but not the least know your culture by self investigating the truth shubhaste panthana santu jai hind jai bharat tan tan ka tera kita tan tan ta tet tet tera kita tera kita tet tet tan ta tera kita tera kita ta 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 tan tan ka tera kita tan tan ta tet tet tera kita tera kita tet tet tera kita tera kita ta 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 da 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 da